I am busy, 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 busy today. I'm making macaroons, I've got meringues in the oven, I still need to make some cakes, and I need to go get some sugar from the shop. And I need to do all this recording before the sun goes down, otherwise I just don't have any light. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna try my best to get this video done and uploaded for tonight because I, I said I was gonna do a video every Friday, so I'm gonna do that for you guys. So, I'm gonna show you something simple how I make my Swiss meringue buttercream. So we're just gonna go straight in there because I don't have a lot of time, so. So for this recipe, you're going to need some egg whites, some sugar, and some butter. And that is literally it. I'm gonna leave all the measurements and stuff in the description box below, so check that out so you can actually make what I'm making. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your egg whites and your sugar in your mixing bowl, and then put that over a pan of simmering water, and you're gonna use your whisk attachment just to stir it around so it's all sort of, the heat's getting all evenly incorporated. Now I don't know if you can see this, but I actually had a temperature probe in there, and it's really important that you get your eggs to at least minimum of 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And basically, if you don't do that, your um, buttercream cannot actually be deemed safe to eat because you've not got it to a temperature that will eliminate any kind of diseases like salmonella and all that kind of stuff. However, if you're using pasteurized egg whites and you're posh totty, then um, I guess that's not something you have to worry about. <laughs> now once you've got your egg mixture to temperature, you're going to put that straight on your mixer and whisk it on a high speed until it gets really thick and glossy and stiff. That's going to take about 5-10 minutes kind of depends and you want to whisk it until it gets cool as well on the bowl so you just have to sort of feel it at the bottom and feel if it's actually cooled down a little bit. Once you've sort of achieved that really stiff and fluffy meringue you're gonna start to add your butter in a cube at a time. It's really important that your butter is at room temperature and it's, all, it's nice and squishy. If it's really hard from the fridge it's just not gonna come together as you, you sort of need it to be. So I'm gonna add that in a cube at a time, whisking at high speed and just keep going in there until it gets all in there. And it's gonna look, it may look like it's runny, it may even look like it's split, but just keep whisking it, whisking it for about five minutes, and you'll eventually get there. Once you've achieved your lovely Swiss meringue buttercream, you can then add in whatever flavors you want. So at this particular instance, I'm using some vanilla because I was making a rainbow cake at the time. And that is literally it. That is how you make Swiss meringue buttercream. So I hope you liked that video. I, I'm sorry it's so short, but I, whatever. I've just been really, really busy recently. Um, I will be back with another video on Tuesday and um, take care. So if you like this video, um, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I upload every single week. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> I don't even know, like, I hate, I hate saying goodbye. I'm, get, I'm getting a lot better at um, saying hello and whatever. It's the it's it's goodbye that's making it. It's the goodbyes that's hardest.